Hello everyone, my name is Cosmic and I am currently in the Doors of Pharos area of Dark Souls 2 Scar of the First Sin. Today I'm going to walk you through all 24 lockstones in the area, showing you what's behind each one and what each one does. And there are only a few worth opening, so stick around to find out which ones they are. The first ones are on the left of the first room, somewhat hidden underneath the water. This one opens a door that has a Gurm Warrior inside it and nothing else. The second one is to the right of it and contains the exact same thing, except this one has a little bit more space than the other. The third one is even further past the second one, but this one contains a dog rat. Nothing else is in this one either. There are three more in the first room in front of this giant stone doorway. They all unlock a segment of the door. Behind it is a primal knight and a chest containing one of the coolest weapons in the game, the Cyan Spear. If you want to find out more about this weapon, I'll contain the wiki link and a link to a video showing off the amazing moveset of this weapon in the description below. Next up, we have one on the floor in the second room, the one with the ladder. This one also just has a boring Gurm Warrior inside and nothing else. Past that one, we have yet another Gurm Warrior with nothing else in it. I guess this is good if you want to farm Gurm gear, I don't know. Just up the ladder on the right wall, we have one that unlocks a door underneath it. This unlocks a path that leads up to a room that has a chest containing a faint stone and a twinkling titanite. So if you need those, maybe unlock this one. There are two next to the trap chest. The one on the left contains nothing except an advertisement of my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash mynameiscosmic, where I play a lot of Soulsborne. Weird. And the one on the right just contains a stone gurm trap. Amazing. Moving on, just past the bridge on the right wall, we have one that activates a saw trap just to the left of it. Just to the left of that, we have one that apparently activates the stone gum trap in front of it, but I couldn't get him to do anything, so I'm not too sure about that one. Further right of that one, we have one that activates yet another stone gum warrior trap. This one actually works though, at least for me. Next up is one that's on the floor. This opens a somewhat large door and leads into a room with a gum warrior and a poisonous trap chest that contains 30 magic arrows. So if you need a bunch of magic arrows, I guess this one could be worth it. Next lockstone opens up a door to the left of it, which allows you to go to the other side of the bridge without actually having to walk over the bridge. Not incredibly useful, but there it is. Right after that one is another one that's on the floor. This one also apparently activates the stone gum warrior in front of it, but I couldn't get this one to move either. Crossing the bridge, we have one that activates five different spike traps that make the bridge dangerous. Maybe that previous path isn't so useless after all, but why would you ever activate this? Next is another one on the floor which simply activates the stone gum trap next to it. Is there even a use for these traps at all? Now we have three along a wall, the same principle as before. Each one opens up a section of the door blocking a room with a primal warrior inside it and a soul of a brave warrior. Not quite a science spear this time. The one after that is also said to activate the stone gum warrior in front of it. This one I also couldn't get to do anything. So let me know in the comments if you know if I'm doing something wrong with these guys because I have no idea. And the final lockstone in the Doors of Pharos erects a wall that separates the entrance to this room and the bonfire to Royal Rat Authority. Meaning that if you ever want to get here, you'll have to walk all the way around again. And that's it. That's all 24 Pharos doors in the Doors of Pharos. Only two or three of them are really worth opening, so I'm happy I could open them all for you so you don't have to waste your well-earned Pharos lockstones. Thanks for watching, everybody.